This video is about SMB multi-channel and how well it scales. So most people know that SMB multi-channel is when your NAS has two network adapters or more and your PC has two network adapters or more. Somehow SMB works out that those adapters exist and then uses those extra channels as, as more for more bandwidth and you get more throughput. So my testing is about working out how much extra bandwidth you get compared from one 10 gigabit ethernet channel to two, three, and four channels and to find out whether there's diminishing returns or if it just scales beautifully. So on the NAS side, I've got a QNAP TSH1283 or 81283XU-RP. So that's basically a 12 bay, three and a half inch NAS that's got 10 gigabit adapters. In my case, it's got four 10 gigabit ethernet adapters. And then I've got a Mac Studio Ultra, uh, which has a built-in 10 gigabit copper ethernet adapter and I have three additional Thunderbolt ethernet connectors. So I'm just going to do performance testing on one NIC connector, then two, three, and four and see what happens with the performance. Now I'm not exactly sure that my NAS has the throughput to thoroughly saturate four 10 gigabit ethernet adapters, so I guess we'll find out that from the testing. The test was to copy this folder of 99.27 gigabytes of data made up of 17 identical files from the NAS to the Mac and then just time how long it took. The single 10 gigabit link took 91 seconds to do the copy, which equates to a transfer rate of 1091 megabytes per second, which is pretty close to the theoretical maximum of 10 gigabit. Testing with two links took 57 seconds, giving a faster transfer rate of 1,741 megabytes per second. That's not a doubling, it's 60%, which is definitely a worthwhile improvement. Moving up to three links, the copy took 45 seconds, giving 2,206 megabytes per second. That's not really uh, the 50% improvement that you might hope for, but it's a 26% improvement over the two link copy speed. Still an improvement nonetheless. Finally, moving to four links, the copy took 42 seconds, giving 2,363 megabytes per second, which is a mere 10% improvement over the three link copy speed. So looking at the data, I've got three big takeaways. The first one is that there's definitely diminishing returns when you add extra channels to SMB multi-channel. Even after adding just one channel to go to two 10 gigabit links, the improvement was only 60%, not 100%. So there's diminishing returns immediately and it only gets worse from there. Second takeaway is that I'm pretty sure my storage can't do much more than about 2,400 megabytes per second transfer, so that probably polluted the, our results when it came to three and four NICs at a time. And last of all, for my NAS, uh, the sweet spot for me is probably about three NICs. Uh, moving more than that is a waste, you're not getting very much more performance, and it does take up a Thunderbolt port, which, I, yeah, there's a finite number of them on a Mac Studio, so they're worthwhile. Also, a 10 gigabit uh, Thunderbolt Ethernet adapter costs about $200, so you know, you're throwing money at uh, a problem and only getting a mild improvement because of it. If you've got any comments or points or questions about the data or how I gathered it, perhaps some potential improvements or something like that, then please feel free to comment below. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.